Hello everyone. There is nothing we love more than digging through the leaks and rumors about new Yellowstone episodes and trying to figure out what to expect next. Since Yellowstone Season 5 got separated into two parts and meddled with all of our expectations, we are more confused about the show than ever. There is only one thing we are certain about. Jamie Dutton will end up in the train station by the time Season 5 ends. As you all know, Season 5 Part 1 ended in the strangest way possible. It wasn't the most shocking or the most creative ending that we have seen in Yellowstone. On the contrary, it was something that we have been waiting for all these years. And yet, we were not expecting to reach such a point that abruptly. The season already had a strange beginning with John being the governor of Montana. When you take John out of his habitat, aka the Yellowstone Ranch, he becomes almost unrecognizable. Throughout the season, we watched an unpleasant John who seems like he is sick of everything. The only times he was moderately pleasant was when he was with Summer. But other than that, he seemed like he was hating his new life. Jamie, on the other hand, coping with the betrayal of his family relatively well in our opinion. After overcoming the initial shock, he stayed right beside his father, offered him his wisdom and experience in state affairs, and tried to be cool about everything. Strangely, he didn't turn his suppressed feelings into passive-aggressive behavior. Instead, he tried to say what he actually feels like whenever he can, which is something we appreciate. Beth, on the other hand, continued to be her somewhat annoying self throughout the season. His hatred and cruel behavior towards Jamie only grew further, and she didn't feel like hiding any of her emotions. She preferred to be aggressive all the time rather than playing passive-aggressive tricks. Even John got fed up with her over-the-top actions against Jamie and warned her of treating her brother with respect. And yet, in the end, we found ourselves in a position in which John and Beth were planning to kill Jamie as if none of these ever happened. To be fair, Jamie tried to impeach John from his position as the governor. And he did this not as a result of weeks of planning the downfall of his father, but as a result of impulsive behavior and Sarah's insistence on attacking the Duttons. Although we are still partly suspicious of whether Jamie was truly planning to impeach John or all of these were just a scam to ambush Sarah, we can't ignore the fact that Beth is truly hating Jamie and she would do anything to ruin him. Now that she knows all the secrets of her family, including the infamous train station, we don't think there is anything to stop her from killing Jamie, no matter what. Even if John changes his mind about his son, Beth would not care about it as she is known for doing whatever she has in mind regardless of others' ideas. We know that Rip, who is normally the designated killer in such scenarios, will be away for a while to save the cattle from an illness. But we don't think that would stop Beth from urging him to attack Jamie. Since he is away, he might take a quick trip to Yellowstone, send him to the train station, and return back to Texas as if nothing has happened. By doing so, he might cover up his tracks pretty easily. Now, you may claim Jamie is working on killing Beth as well, and you would be right. However, Jamie is acting with Sarah, a woman whose motivation is money more than anything. So she can easily be bought out. If her bosses somehow decide to pull her back from the mission, then she would sell out on Jamie, leaving him all alone. Besides, they are planning to hire some hitmen to kill Beth, which is fine but not as trustworthy as Rip killing Jamie. When you have a personal cause to act, you are more likely to be successful in it. When you pay for an act, though, you can never be certain whether it truly took place or not. Thus, in our opinion, Jamie is much more likely to die in Season 5 than Beth. Also, we have to remind you of the disappointment of the fact that somehow all the Duttons managed to survive the brutal attacks of the Season 3 season ending. Since then, we as the audience expect the series to kill one of its main characters, so that the show can once again be believable. Otherwise, we are watching a bunch of immortals who are constantly planning to kill one another, but never manage to accomplish the mission, which is just ridiculous. What are your thoughts on Jamie going to the train station? Do you think a Dutton must die this season? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.